Hello everyone, so I'm going to do another one of these short videos. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, and I was just having a conversation with someone. I was texting too, and I was complaining like how I hate texting. I don't like it. Um, I mean, I'm not very good at it either. Like the problem is I don't know how to type, so I'll be like this, my phone, I'm typing, and I'm impulsive. I'm like, oh, that's the first thing in my head. And I, then I hit and it's like the phone corrects things and it comes out all wrong. I'm like, oh, I'm constantly correcting. And I, and I hate what I, like, I'll look back on the text. I go, what am I even saying? That's not me. So I like this. I like talking, right? The best way is to actually meet somebody in person and talk to them facial cue face, face excuse me facial cues etc the worst way to communicate is text messaging right common sense right the best way is face to face the second best way is phone on the phone the worst way is text it's awful right um and plus i suck at it so that's another thing um and even what's interesting is, um, you know, I like to talk. I, you know, I have a pretty good sounding voice and um, the way I look. So this is the most effective way for me to communicate. Even though it's all spontaneous, it's not super polished or whatever. But, uh, you know, I like this. My writing, I struggle. Now, you have to practice 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 which is a good segue into the art of writing and the creative process so i have one of my heroes is douglas hofstadter all right so we all know if you know douglas hofstadter his classic girdle escher and bach I read this a long time ago i didn't understand it at all i was too stupid <laughs> you know i think i was in my 20s i was reading this as like what all right, I'll, I'll talk about this some other day, this classic, Girdle, Esther, and Bach. And then I have two other books here. Um, I Am a Strange Loop. Um, and here is this big, you know, on this a translation of a French poem from 15th century. Was it 16th century? But what struck me is he, the create, what Douglas Hofstetter's creative process like he struggles like you see douglas hofstadter you read his stuff he goes this fucking guy's a genius holy fuck he seems like he's another species he's so brilliant and like i could never write like that you know he works at it he works hard he says every sentence he's ever written has been rewritten at least a dozen times no exaggeration it's like when he first he first he just he pours it out, he puts it on the paper, and it's pretty much dog shit. Like, yeah, he wants the ideas out, but that's just, day. Hey, what's the clay? <sighs> Throw it out. Then you work on it, you polish and refine. Now, that's the way I feel when I write. I, I don't, I'm too impatient, impulsive. And it's when I talk, when I see it in writing, it's like fucking dog shit. So let me just, um, like he has the metaphor of the Capri mosaic, right? And then he talks about the a gradual, the, the gradual emergence of global tone. And then here he is again, the writing, wrapping around and tightening. This whole first chapter is about what he, how he feels and how he writes and how he gets this, right? 700 pages <laughs> and it's brilliant. All right, so that's it. This is the last one for today. I'm a little over four minutes. And I'll be talking a lot more about this. Have a great day, everyone.